Hi there everybody, Miss Divine here and I am here to share with you our Term 4 guided reading book. And the story that we're going to be using this term for our guided reading sessions is called Man on the Moon, A Day in the Life of Bob. And it is written by the author, is called Simon Bartram. And it is a story, as we can see, all about an astronaut called Bob. So using the front cover, Man on the Moon, we know that he is an astronaut who visits the moon. Let's find out what our story is about. This is Bob. Perhaps you've heard people talk of him. You may know him better as the man on the moon. And we can see here that the text is slightly larger and it's in bold. It's telling us his name is Bob, but we are probably more likely to know him as the man on the moon. Is he on the moon yet? Where is he in these pictures? Where do you think he might be? It looks like he's in his house, but we can see that he's clearly very interested in space. He's got some ornaments here on the side of the different planets and we can see some pictures hung up on his wall of the moon. And here he is. Where is he now? What can we see? I can see he's on the planet moon now. We've got his rocket, how he's travelled and he looks like he is enjoying himself and is ready for his day. What can you spot on his outfit? I can see a key. I wonder where it's going to take him. This is where Bob lives. Every morning he rises at six o'clock. He has a cup of tea and two eggs for breakfast before leaving for the rocket launch pad. On the way, he stops to buy a newspaper and some chocolate toffees. He's on his way to work. So we can see he's left his house. How does he get to work? How does he travel there? He's cycling and it looks like he's cycling up a steep hill with a really windy path. We can see him cycling up to his launch pad. On his way to work, on the moon. Not an everyday job, is it? By eight o'clock, Bob arrives at the launch pad, changes into his special man on the moon suit and boards his fantastic rocket ship. He must make sure he leaves by quarter to nine, otherwise he would not make it to the moon by nine. On the way, he reads the newspaper and does the crosswords. And we can see his rocket has now launched and is on its way. Bob starts work. His job as man on the moon is very important. He has to keep the moon clean and tidy Quite often, astronauts drop sweet packets and cans. Some people say that aliens are responsible for much of the rubbish, but Bob knows it's not true. There's no such thing as aliens. What can you see in the picture? I can spot something over here. <gasps> Who are they? Do we think Bob knows that these green, funny looking aliens are on the moon? How would you describe these aliens, I wonder? I can see that this one's got three circular eyes. This one has a long cylinder shaped nose. I wonder how you would describe them. By 12.30 it's time to eat. Bob goes to his rocket ship to fetch his lunchbox and this usually contains two sandwiches, either cheese or peanut butter, an apple and some chocolate covered nuts. Sometimes he meets his friends for a picnic. His two best friends are Billy, the man on Mars, and Sam, the man on Saturn. And they talk about the stars and tell jokes. After lunch, tourist spaceships start arriving from Earth. It is part of Bob's job to entertain them and give them something to photograph. So he does some astronauts handstands, some somersaults 
and especially high moon jumps. Sometimes he performs for as long as two hours and he's left out quite a puff. Occasionally, the tourist spaceships will land on the moon. When they do, Bob gives them a guided tour and a speech. He tells them lots of facts, such as how many craters on the moon there are or how long it takes to walk around on the stilts. Sometimes people ask him about aliens and Bob explains patiently that there aren't any. Afterwards, Bob opens a small souvenir stand selling postcards, pencils, mugs and small plastic moon models. So we can see that Bob has a really busy job on the moon. By 4.30, all visitors must leave the moon. Bob looks around to see that everyone has left. He checks inside any big craters in case anyone has fallen in. But there's never anyone there. Can you see anyone in the craters? The working day is nearly over. It is time to check everything is in order before leaving for the night. Bob packs away his equipment and any unsold souvenirs into his rocket. He switches on the moon's nightlight before jetting off towards Earth. By this time, he's very tired, but he still has to keep his wits about him while flying the rocket. As he reaches Earth, it's about five o'clock. The rush hour is in full swing with everyone leaving for work and going home, just like Bob. At home, Bob is just like anyone else. First, he has a long bath. Moon work can make you very grubby and sometimes the dust can get inside your suit. And then he goes to bed with a mug of cocoa and he usually sleeps soundly, bathed in moonbeams and very happy to be the man on the moon. And aliens? Well, Bob would know if there were any. Wouldn't he? The end. So I hope you enjoyed our new story for this term. Each week, like always, we're going to be doing some different activities around the book. And I really hope that you enjoy it. Remember, you can keep coming back to this video for when we're doing any other activities. If you'd like to listen to the story again or you need reminding of certain things that happen. Enjoy, everybody. Bye.